Do I get a free summoning? Uh, I didn't think so. I kind of hoped I did. And we'll go with Amadeus this time. Uh, swap out for <laughs> Leonidas. I'm actually kind of sad I didn't level up Banky. I should have. So really sad I didn't uh, level up uh, Medea either. I did, however, level up uh, uh, Eric Bloodaxe, so we'll bring him. <laughs> now that things have settled down, I'd like to introduce myself again. My true name is Marie Antoinette. I'm from the Rider class. As for who I am, I'd be happy if you could examine me closely with your eyes and ears. As for why I was summoned, unfortunately I have no idea. After all, I have no master. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I'm the same as her. As for why I was summoned, first of all, it just doesn't feel like I'm a hero. Yes, I'm great, but even so I'm still just one of many artists. Well, I did apply magecraft in my music. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> but that was only because I was drawn to the sounds played by demons. But I assume they took some liberties with that. I don't remember that being discussed in music theory. I'm Mash Karyolite. I'm a demi servant, and I don't know what my true name is. This is Vane Izanagi, my master. Yeah. What the? <laughs> no. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. As fellow non-fighters, let's get along. And this is... Jean? Jean de Arc, yes? The saint who saved... <clears throat> the saint who got fucking shit caught in my throat? The saint who saved friends? One of the people I wish to meet in my life. I'm not a saint. Yet? Yes, everyone knows that's how you saw yourself. But the way you led your life was true, and we all know the results. That's why everyone will always remember and admire the name Jean d'Arc and the miracle of Orleans. I mean, to be fair, I was only vaguely familiar with the name Jean d'Arc or Joan of Arc. I didn't really know what she did, except, you know, she was a saint and she was burned. Alive. It's really all I knew about her. <laughs> of course, your life ended at the stake and resulted in that witch. It's just like Marie to only look at the good parts. Am I wrong, Jean d'Arc? Your life was a little out of tune. Jean herself is the one who gets hurt when people call her a perfect saint. Listen, Marie. You always say what you think others want to hear. Sometimes you need to scold or deny others. Uh, I don't need to hear that from you, Amadeus. You're, you already tell me that every day. Th this is what you want, right? You piano brain, piece of human garbage. You're a pervert who can only get up for musical scale. Wow. <laughs> Wait, that really say you can all... <laughs> Oh my god, they really did write you can only get it up for musical scales. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You're a pervert who can only get it up for musical scales. If you like music so much, you should turn into a piano. I don't know if I should say this, but when you insult me like that, I feel something indescribable. Well, that escalated quickly. But see, you can do it if you try. Give the same treatment to Jean. <laughs> Insult her. Tell her she's terrible. <laughs> Faster. Stronger. More violent. Is he talking about insulting her? Or <laughs> Tell her all of her flaws as you see them. <laughs> None. That's impossible, Amadeus. Human garbage like you has nothing but flaws, but Jean herself has none. Are you serious? 
I didn't know you had it that bad. You really did love Jean d'Arc, didn't you? I would say worship rather than love. And a bit of guilt as well. A tiny sorry the size of a teaspoon. The natural guilt we foolish royals feel towards the saint. Marie Antoinette, your words honor me, but that's why I must confess. In life I was no saint. I held the flag high for what I believed in, and as a result, I stained my hands with blood. That's okay, if Dante's Inferno has taught me anything, all you have to do is repent for your sins and everything will be okay. Even though it doesn't actually make it okay, and then your girlfriend makes a deal with the devil. Which is a stupid decision to begin with. And then you've got to fight your way through hell, and then, you know, your wife, is whatever, ends up plowing the devil so that he can escape from the ninth circle of hell. I'm sure that's what's going on here. Of course, I don't regret that, nor do I regret the Inquisition, or my own death. But I shed too much blood. I believed in the dreams of a little country girl, but... At the time, I never imagined how high the price of that dream was. I never regretted it, but never did I feel fear, and that is my greatest sin. Only the outcome of my actions made me a saint. I do not think it's the right word for a country girl like me. I see. So you're not a saint, right? Then may I call you Jean? Y yes, of course. It feels like that would bring back old memories. Wonderful. Call me Marie, then. If you're simply Jean and not a saint, then I want to be Marie and not a queen. Please, Jean, will you call me Marie? This has turned into a weird fetish circle. Hey, remember when the plot was going on? Yeah, me neither. Y yes. All right. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, too. I am happy, Jean. And I'm sorry. I keep pushing my own views on you. You've lost your own answers about yourself, haven't you? Just like the day I died, not knowing a thing about what was going on, you'll have to find your own answers. I certainly want to treat you as a saint, but I'll stop myself. I won't just believe in you, I'll support you. Isn't that what female friends are supposed to do, Amadeus? I suppose so, yeah. You guys can go eat sweets or something. I really want to know why she asked Amadeus what girlfriends are supposed to do. I was actually really expecting Amadeus to just go, Why are you asking me? I'm not a woman. <laughs> I've just realized I'm outranked in uh, estrogen here. Amadeus is the only dude, like, outside of my actual servants I've summoned. That is another guy. Wow. We believe in you too, right, Master? Nope. <laughs> Fake monsters are a common thing. Of course. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me feel better. Look, it seems we have some uninvited, or uh, we have invited some unwanted guests. No, I don't think you invited them. Well, whatever. Wait. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to look at the log. I didn't mean to skip that. Whatever, it's time to kill. It's time to fight. Ah, Metal Gear. Oh god. <laughs> I shook down my drink a little too hard there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. By the way, can anyone look at Eric's like a uh, fucking sprite and tell me what the hell is wrong with him? It looks like his his body doesn't look right. He looks real tiny like it doesn't look like he's well proportioned. I guess is a good way to say it. it. Like, his abdomens look like they're blending into his chest. It is uh, is sort of a way to put it. it. It it makes his body look very small in comparison to where his waist is. Is what I'm trying to say. All right. So what have you got? Apply target focus increase. Ooh. Yes. <sighs> Rear guards pride. Actually, in hindsight, I should have had Leonidas in the back. Mm -hmm. 
鍵盤には女神の加護が宿るものさ。うん。I wonder why his is a fake rank or a fake、uh, protection of, Mew of Muse. Alright, l well, let's get to work. <laughs> Attack! Jesus Christ, they really have it out for fucking、uh, Leonidas. There we go. Might as well get Mozart's、uh, Noble Phantasm if I can. I mean, if I can't, I won't lose sleep over it, but. We've got him here, might as well. Ah,、oh, perfect. It's kind of rare that I get an arts card for a、uh, Berserker. So I'll take advantage of this moment. <laughs>、uh, whoa, connection. There we go. And Flamey Head Leonidas, you're up next. Oh man, so close. Damn. I was really hoping one of those arts cards would be for Leonidas. That'll do, though. Well, hopefully, it'll do. There we go. Got Eric's, got Leonidas. All right, what did each of these two do? Greatly increase your attack, deal damage to all enemies.、Uh, greatly increase defense, apply target focus status for yourself, plus gain C stars. That's actually a lot lamer than I thought it would be. Huh. Oh well. At least it'll make,、uh, it'll make Eric hit harder. Actually, heal up Eric since he's gotta, he's gotta expend his health to use his Noble Phantasm. There we go. Oh man, I didn't mean to skip it. Damn it. Or I didn't mean to have it on quick speed. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't aware that Eric was trying to. <laughs> I wasn't aware that Eric was a huge fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Maybe with his help, we can finally kill Dio. Well, Dio isn't too hard to find. All we gotta do is kill Anderson. A joke because his voice actor is the same guy who does Dio. Now I understand. The whole world, never mind France, is in danger. Did we talk about this while fighting? Although it's in a different form, this too is a Holy Grail war. I knew it was just dangerous when I learned it was a masterless summoning, but I didn't expect this. Now there were five servants in opposition, nine total, including Mash, but isn't that too much? The rule of the seven servants is no more, although that doesn't mean infinite. It's not surprising at all if there are more than seven servants. According to the records, one time, a total of 15 servants fought. I think that's supposed to be Apocrypha. Because each side had. Each side had seven servants, red and black, and Jean was there as well. Uh, as the ruler class, making a total of 15. Oh, I get it. I've figured it out, everyone. We were summoned so that we could defeat them like heroes. What is up with Marie's hero worship? 
<laughs> it might be to destroy the world. You know what? Let's do that. No, 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 no. That's not right. I love everybody just as I did when I was alive. I wouldn't need these feelings to destroy the world, and they wouldn't summon me anyway. It's perfectly fine to be confident, Maria. Or, yeah, Maria. Uh, but we're up against powerful foes. Jean and Mash, as well as Vane, are used to combat. But you and I aren't the fighting type. The numbers matter less than the fact that they're far stronger. Yo, bro, I have, an, I have a literal destroyer of civilizations on my team and a fucking crazed knight with a machine gun. I think we'll be okay. Oh, also Emmy, I kind of forgot about him. I kind of skimmed over him. <laughs> Unlimited play works and all. I think we'll be fine. Indeed, Vlad the Third and Elizabeth Bathory, that's still not how you spell her name ever, once carved their name into history as a hero and the other a murderess. Well, hero was dependent on how you saw him. I mean, I'm pretty sure outside of Romania, he was feared as, like, a monster. That is kind of the point of why he was inspired to be Dracula. <laughs> or why he was the inspiration for Dracula. And the other one is a fictional vampire. She's, she's not fucking... She just, she's Carmilla, not Elizabeth Bathory. That bothers me so much. The other that looks like a saber seemed to know Marie... That's right. If she knows who I am, then... Perhaps she's Chevalier d'Eon? I have no proof, though. Chevalier d'Eon. A spy with Louis... Uh, Roman numerals. 15's intelligence agency. The Secret de Rue. Secret de Rue? She was also a dragoon. And a... Plan... Plenipotentiary... Minister, she... No, maybe he? In life, Chevalier was actually a dude, but he was often known for cross-dressing for assignments, so... I'll let them get away with it this time. It matters little, mage from a distant world. She was summoned from a different time than me, but her splendid face hasn't changed. I see. It would be wonderful if she would join us. She already did, technically. I already have her, too. I just haven't leveled her up. That might be difficult, I think. I've lost my ruler's ability to see true names, but there is one thing I could see. All of them have been given madness enhancement, regardless of their alignment or background. Q. It's probably the power of the Grail. Even without an episode of madness, it can give them berserker traits. The goal of a Holy Grail war is to get the Grail, but they already have it. It's not fair. But that leaves one mystery. Why were you summoned? This is just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. No, seriously. Um, <laughs> Despite the fact that the Holy Grail war hasn't begun, someone already has the Grail. This is a reversal of casualty. A bug, if you will. And perhaps the Grail is resisting it. The greater the opponent, the more powerful the Grail's reaction. I see. In other words, somewhere else in France. Indeed, there may be other servants summoned here like Marie. Oh my! That means I can, even, I can meet even more people, right? That's not necessarily a good thing. It may just mean more enemies. But whichever it is, we should start searching for them as soon as we can. Before the other Jean finds them. Indeed, I've lost my ability to detect servants, so we'll have to depend on Mr. Roman. Sure thing. I can't match a full-powered ruler, but I can search farther than a servant. Let's take a little break first. You're all tired, right? Yes, Master. Rest for a bit. We'll stand watch.